Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And today, Trenton, we've got a big show. I had a really, really cool idea. So big, in fact, I'm, I'm sure some of you know this. I don't really prepare anything when we do videos. I just kind of walk down no. here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Surprising. But for this one, I actually spent 15 minutes or so coming up with my list. 15 minutes. I know for you, it's like 24 hours and you, you give yourself a lot of leeway and you write down your notes and everything, no. but you should have seen it. My my face was red, my hair, my head was steaming. I was really getting into it with, with my with my list. I should have recorded it for you. <laughs> you should have. Yeah, you so should have. I got a good one. And now, I, I usually try to spend a few minutes. Minutes. <laughs> Hours on a normal video, you know, I want at least I want to at least know the bottles that we're going to discuss. That's mainly it. We're never scripted. We never have. Okay, you say this, then I'll say this, and we'll do that, and we just get up here and whatever happens happens. That's what we do. Yeah. But when it comes to these lists, and today we're going to talk about our five favorite bourbons of all time. His list is different than my list, I'm sure, but our five favorite of all times. But let me tell you, there was a lot of conversation, some arguments there, what should be included, what should not be included. So what, what we're not including is anything that's that's hyper-allocated, Blanton's, Weller's, E.H. Taylor's, anything like that, um, and, and upwards of Pappy's, all that all that good stuff. What we did allow ourselves, though, is the Elijah Craig barrel proofs, the Larceny barrel proofs, uh, and the Booker's. Uh, we felt that we see those quite a bit around here, um, and we've seen that quite a bit of you folks are able to get those where you're at. I know that's not going to be the case for everybody, but we felt that this would give us a little bit of a cushion because there are some in there that, that we really enjoyed. So we wanted yeah. to allow ourselves that uh, yeah. that that leeway in there, and we, we did take full advantage of that. <laughs> so <laughs> That did take a bit of conversation, though, to get to that point. Now, we did, for this video, draw that proverbial line in the sand, but... If in fact you, you want to see a video at some point in time to where we give you our five favorite whiskeys of all time, all inclusive. Oh, so rise and scotch and stuff. Right, whatever. Scotch on my list. Well, you, wonderful. You'll have a scotch in your list? No, I won't. No, 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 no. But, I mean, all inclusive. You know, no holds barred. Okay. Everything out there. If you want to see that, let us know in the comments. I know some folks, you know, when you talk about different higher price yeah. allocated stuff it's not up their alley so no problem on our part if you don't if you do not but if you do we can do that as well but today let's focus on today yep our five favorite bourbons of all time for the most part non-allocated i will let you go first sir. really oh you're so kind since yes. i i did prepare this time I, i'm proud i'm gonna get some flack from walker about this but oh. one of my first favorite not only because of the proof but also the price is 1792 bottle and bond Wow, this did and this did very well in our, our bourbon madness last year. I think it, it made did. It top three or it top did. five. I can't top remember. Five. But for what you get for the price in this bottle, it's it's very difficult to to beat this. I went back and forth between different lower price options. I even taste tested some stuff at home. I told you I went all out. <laughs> yeah, um, wow. and this to me is just came out on top. I reached for it quite a bit. Um, I have a couple bottles saved up at, at home. But uh, yeah, for me, this was hands down my favorite uh, bottle and bond one, the, the price point, the flavors and everything uh, for me. Yeah, I, it's, it's definitely a solid bottle. I can't, I can't deny though, I'm, I'm a little surprised it's on this list. Really? I wasn't aware that that would be oh. in, in your top five. Yeah. But that's cool to know. All right, my first bottle is gonna be no shocker to anyone. I'm but, shocked. You know, that's okay. Wild Turkey Rear Breed. Guys, shocker. come on now. I'm a wild turkey guy through and through. So this rare breed, it's to me the pinnacle of the shelf wild turkey bourbons. It just is. The proof is great. Everything's great there, Trent. Everything. I, I would have thought that you'd have that you'd have snuck uh one on one somewhere in there at the beginning, but I didn't want to duplicate, you know, any distillery for this list. That's fair, yeah. But truth of the truth be known, I would I would reach for the rare breed. Over the 101, both, right. are, both are great, you know. And but wild turkey is great. Wild turkey is my thing. You all know that. But I gotta love the rare breed, man. That's first on my list. Fair enough. Uh, my second one, and I think everybody knows that I'm a huge old Forester fan. Um, this the, is where it gets the, good. The pick might surprise you, but for me, it was the uh, 1910 Old Forester. Um, don't get me wrong, I like the 1920, um, but 
for for the price for me and also the proof point. Um, when I first tried this, uh, just looking at the proof point, I would have thought it was a little bit low, but the flavors that come through on this 93 proof yeah. option is just incredible. It and it's not something that I have to uh, put over ice. The 115 proof sometimes uh, can be a little hot for me. Um, and this one I can just go all in, not, no ice, no nothing. Um, I, I did kind of struggle between that and the 1920. But well, well don't worry. Because, <laughs> because next on my list is the Old Forester 1920. And and I, and I understand everything Top what you're cat. saying. <laughs> my list was done yesterday and so was yours. I understand where you're coming from with this 1910. It's very sweet. It, it's, it's a magnificent double oak bourbon. It really, really is. But for me, our, our winner of last year's Bourbon Madness oh. Tournament, you know, it, it pretty much has everything. It's got a little bit of what? A little bit of caramel, whole, whole great stuff of baking yeah. spices in there. It's just a great bottle. I mean, I, I I love everything about it. The proof for me is is right on point. And it's it's a stalwart here in the bar, that's for sure. So that's my bottle number two, the 1920. Well, like we said, we were gonna we were gonna give ourselves a little cushion on, on some of the mm -hmm. maybe not so allocated ones. My next one is the Booker's Bardstown batch that was uh, that came out last year. This was, in my opinion, the best Bards or the best Booker's batch mm -hmm. that came out in Absolutely. in 2022, mm -hmm. and I think it's the best Booker's for me in in quite a while. It was really really good. It hit yeah. our it hit our list top of the year stuff. Yeah, it was like it has a really year, nice great stuff. Has a really nice red apple note in there that to Beautiful. me is just front and center. It's it's like almost crispy. Like you can get the crispiness from, <laughs> and that's that sounds weird, but you can. <laughs> you can. Um, it's great. And I know that bookers are getting a little bit up there in price. Some of them are a little bit harder to pull the trigger on. Uh, that's why, I mean, between us, I think we try these at bars now before we buy them just because the, the price points are getting a little bit up there. Uh, but for me, this was hands down one of my favorite bourbons of all time, I think. Yeah, yeah it's that solid picture. Yeah. All right, my next one is an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Now, this one breaks my heart just a touch, Trent. Why? It's the B520. All right. So... A little bit of the background here. I've always said for, what, two years, three years, my favorite's the Elijah Craig C919. You know yeah. what's coming, yeah. right? I love that bottle. I bought three of those. I did, and I'm on my last one over there. Uh -oh. However, you know, you can't deny a blind tasting. You can't deny it. That's true. Twice now. Twice. Has it been twice? Twice. Trust oh, me. Oof. These things just, they hurt me. Twice B520 beat out the C919 for me, my choice. That's that's on tough. a blind. That's so. Tough. What can I do? So what I'm going to put up here is obviously what I picked in the blind, the B520. It's marshmallowy. You know those candies that are like chocolate cream. It's got the cream in. The, I'm not Just chocolate. Charles I'm sorry. Caramel with the cream in the middle, kind of like like a Charleston chew. No, no, like the honey. Remember that? the cow tails? The caramel. I, I don't know. It's, no, it's like like you unwrap it. It's got caramel. It's got like the vanilla cream in the middle. I, Anyways, uh, no, trust me. I, I don't. It's fabulous. It doesn't sound good, but it, it is good. <laughs> it is good, and that's and that's what I get in this bottle. Obviously, so far it's my favorite Elijah Craig Barrel Proof release. So had to get, it had to be on this list today. I don't remember. Um, I don't remember doing two blinds with that. Yeah, we did. Huh. Well, the other one's a live show too with Ken and I. And oh, I, I that's with okay, the old yeah. Elijah Craig, and yeah, I picked that I over my C nine one nine there too. Um, my next one, I had to go with this one. It's a weeder. Um, and it is the Old Elk Weeded Bourbon. Now, this, this is our store pick, or our, our barrel pick that we did for Patreon, but um, I have a couple other ones, either picks or just the regular weeded bourbon at home that I really enjoy. And the the price is, I think, 80-ish 80, 80 dollars. So it's up there for a weeder, but a lot of these are seven, eight years old, so you get a really nice, nicely aged weeded bourbon. And I know Wellers are, are options, you know, they're seven years rumored, and they're like 32 bucks. But I think for me, the, the proof that these come in at and yeah. the, the, the age really stands out to me in this. And it's just like the sweetest weeder I've, I've ever tried. And to me, these are these are incredible. I love it all, what Old Elk is doing. But I think by far their best product is the, yeah. the weeded bourbon. I love it too, man. Yeah, it's solid <laughs> it's stuff. It's good. All right. My next one, I know Trent was a little bit of a surprise for it, you. Yeah, it was. A little bit. But I got to put it out there. Bardstown Discovery Series. Now, listen. Here's where I'm coming from for this one. This is... Discovery Series number four. Okay. <laughs> number four. 
How much were they back then? Do you remember? It just I don't know, eighty nine dollars, something like that. Yeah, eighty nine, something like that. Yeah. So it was eighty nine dollars. Now wait, wait, wait. Here's what I want to show you, dude. Ready for this? This is what the blend was for Discovery Series number four. Fifty five percent thirteen year Kentucky bourbon. Thirty seven percent fifteen year Kentucky bourbon, and eight percent. I think that's 18, right? I'm still having a hard time. Yeah. 18 year Kentucky bourbon. That's a heck of a All thing. around 75% corn in the mash bill. That is spectacular. That one is so good. There's some maple notes in there, and that's like baking spice overload. It's so good. It's 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 so far superior, in my humble opinion, to the eights and nines that came out. <clears throat> when you have the on Ontario corn whiskey and yeah. the Dickel stuff in it too, which, you know, I know they do a great job blending. So please, you know, hear what I got to say, but it doesn't compare in my humble opinion to this number four. It was my favorite and, it, and it's been my favorite with all those quality Kentucky bourbons in the blend. It was fantastic. I didn't realize that the, the mash bills were that high on the, I, to be fair, I'm not uh, into to many Bardstown things mm. back, back in the discovery when it was kind of newer, but I didn't realize that the mash bills were that heck for 80, 90 bucks. And they still had this like solid brass yeah. or whatever uh, cap mm -hmm. on there. Yeah. Those mash bills, that's hard to beat for that yep. price. I'll have to try it after this and see what I think. All right. It's sticky back here. You dropped some syrup. I'm standing <laughs> in syrup back here. What's happening? I don't, I did. I think your mom must've done it. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Honey. Um, I know that I was surprised by your last one. I think you were surprised by my last one. And yeah, I'll say a little bit. the the price on this one is a little bit higher, um, and it's not available in Indiana. But when we travel and stuff, I do see it quite a bit. So I, I thought that that would be maybe enough. I didn't think it was hyper allocated or anything. Uh, it doesn't seem to have a release schedule of any kind. But is the it is the Old Kirk uh, <laughs> single barrel bourbon. Now this is rumored to be the same. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, rumored to be Willet bourbon. So the same stuff that you see in like a Willet purple top. Uh, the price kind of does reflect that. I think I got this for one twenty nine, and I think it's rumored to be a seven or an eight year. But compared to what you're getting when you get a Willet Purple Top at like one ninety nine, two twenty nine for those um, for those seven or eight year, maybe nine year age statements from Willet, mm -hmm. I think this is a killer deal. Now this is a single barrel, um, and this is I think the second Old Kirk that I've ever had. Uh, the first one, unfortunately, is gone. I just picked this up when we were in Tennessee doing our Jack Daniels pick, but. I honestly think for, for what you get, it is an incredible bottle. Again, the price is a little bit high and the availability is not, not it's not available in a, in a ton of markets, a ton of states, but my gosh, is it good. Well, you gave me a pour of that just, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks ago and I was floored. I, I remember that. It, it was, I even said, what is that? Yeah. You know, it's really good. Yeah. Well, that's solid, man. That's yeah. a solid bottle for sure. All right, my last my last on the list too is one we just got last year, but I was so impressed with it I had to put it on this list. Calumet 16 year, I'm shocked. Yeah, and 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 I know a lot of people are saying they can't find it or with it. They're still on the shelves here. Are they? Yeah, I see oh. them. I've seen them a week or so ago. Really? Okay. Yeah. So, I know it's 150 bucks. I get that, but you know it's just so good. It's a 16 year. I love the cherry note on there. Remember we first opened the bottle and it was fresh. We were trying to determine if that cherry yeah. note was a little too medicinal. But once it aired out and had some time to sit in the bottle, it's Pretty good. it's just it's a quintessential bourbon with that beautiful cherry note to it. I really like it and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a backup for that one. If you if you, if you like it that much, I would yeah. before before we, the video goes out and then everybody <laughs> scoops them up and then you can't find them anywhere. <laughs> well, that's our list. I hope you enjoyed it. I like to see any arguments that you have for oh, or please. and or against. Send them our way. In the <laughs> those you thought might should be in this list. If you know Trenton or if you know myself well enough to know what you might have thought we would have put on the list. Oh, that would have been interesting yeah, to see. This is not easy. This right. isn't easy. So Plus, if, if you want to see a video where we cover more than just bourbons, if we just do whiskeys and ryes and scotches and all that all that stuff, if you want to see that, we'll include yeah. allocateds and things if, you, if you'd like that. Let us know in the comments, and depending on the kind of feedback we get, we might end up doing that sometime in the, in the future. Yeah. All right, that's all we got for you today. Thanks so much for everyone. Thank you. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly, and we'll see you next time right down here with Trent and I in a good old basement bourbon bar.
See you later. Thank you.